Yeah. Uh, have you been vaxxed? Yes, I have. Okay, uh, how long ago? Uh, mine was in August the 12th, so now it's September. Okay, two months yeah. la. okay uh. I was jabbed by the Chinese variant, so that's why my... Uh, so two, your two Mandarin ago. became better? <laughs> no, it didn't. KJ was wrong. <laughs> so I guess we can uh, take off your mask if you're okay with that. Yeah, okay. You're about one and a half meters away. Okay. I'll just make sure not to spit in your direction. Oh yes, uh, or, or sneeze. <laughs> That's the case maybe. Yeah. So let's start at the start where all good stories begin. Uh, right. YS. Yeah. Who, who is YS Kong? Who is YS Kong? I think YS Kong is just an ordinary guy. Yeah who had a lot of fun with his life. Yeah. Uh, well, I did a bit of racing and that brought me to fame at one time, but now yeah. I don't race anymore. So, but the name still lingers on for those people who are a little bit older. I've seen you on um, The Edge. You used to write stories. Five-time rally champion or something? Yes, five times. So you are what group? What, what group? N? Group C? Uh, five times would be uh, a mixture of Malaysian national champion and also uh, Malaysian overall champion. Okay. So okay. those were the golden years uh, between. Okay, the Malaysian Rally Championship started in 1981. Okay. And uh, between 81 and 87, I won five out of them. Oh, so five and six years? Five and seven, yeah, six five years. And six no, years. one five to seven, seven is uh, okay. seven years. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Because one also counted. Ah, uh, my math's not so good, lah. Uh, so anyway, the <laughs> I won the first two yeah. uh, in eighty one, eighty two, and by being the most consistent, lah. Okay. Uh, okay. I was like second seven times and first one time. So you know one or two things about, about driving, I presume. I know one or two, thing, two things about consistency, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> okay, so um. I have to ask you, right? Yeah. How, how old are you? Uh? I am 70, 70 plus 4 months. So you are born 1951. 51. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you are 70 this year. Congratulations. Thank you. What, what year? What, what's your month? Uh, mine is May. Okay. Uh, the awesome. best month. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so I was quite surprised because um, I, I like cars, lah, you mm. know. So, so then I watch a lot of YouTube. Uh, overseas, I watch a lot of Clarkson and May, of course, Hammond, mm. Grand Tour. Mm. And then of course um, there's a lot of other Masale ones, uh, but Malaysia quite engaging. Of course, Bobby Bobby is very engaging. Chris Wee I know from a long time. Yeah. But then I came across you, right? Of course, Daniel Fernandez as well, but he doesn't do a lot of YouTube. So I came across you and I was like, wow, this. Uh, of course, I know of you lah. Mm. But I thought, wow, this guy is doing well. You know, <laughs> I, li I like your style. I like your Genting drives. I like your. You're very approachable and very humble. You know, you come across as very approachable. That's what my wife said about you. Is it? Yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. never met me. She's never met you. So I, I thought, you know, I, I like to talk to people who I, th I think are doing amazing things with their lives. That's why I started this channel. Mm -hmm. I don't do it for commercial purpose. I do it for, I guess, for meaning and about creativity. I'm at this age where I'd like to talk to people. Who How are, old are you? I'm 50. 50? Yeah, yeah. I like to talk to You're people. You're a dog? No, I'm a pig. You're a pig? Okay. I'm a pig. Yeah, I'm a yeah. Pig. So, so I thought I've got to talk to you. Yeah, sure. So then I, I thought to myself, I must ask him how he got on YouTube because it's, it's a young man's game. Yes. Uh, actually, I must say thanks to Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> because Bobby uh, told me that, uh, you know, nowadays people don't read. Yeah, they don't read. Uh, they yeah. don't read. And actually, my son Ian told me that much earlier. He said, Dad, in five years' time, nobody will be reading. Okay. Even now, they're not reading. Yeah, so now uh, people still don't read because the with the today's technology, visuals are so much better and I can yeah. tell you they are actually more effective because if you can see what is happening, it's much easier. I don't have to talk so much about a car when I'm driving up Genting. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and because you can actually see for yourself how it's cornering. No yeah. point uh, in the old days when we used to write, oh, the car handles very well, but all you see is that one sentence, you know? Yeah. You read that one sentence that says the car handles very well, yeah. but it's anybody's guess, yeah. you know? And anybody can BS their way through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when you actually drive the car on, yeah. the road, yeah. on the road, you can see, you know? And there are some people who take a corner, Oh, the car handles very well. It's very easy to create tire noise. Yeah. Just turn the steering more than necessary, and you get the tire screeching. Yeah. But that still impresses a lot of people. Yeah. But when you go up to Genting and you actually drive the car, 
that is really driving. And I suppose the next question you want to ask is, why do I choose Genting? Of course. It's actually the safest test route you can have. Yeah? Why is that? It's, it's 8.4 kilometers just to the first half. La. To and Gotong Jaya. La, uh, to Gotong Jaya yeah. and then another 5-6 kilometers up there. I haven't measured that one. But in the 8.4 kilometers, only 300 meters uh, is a stretch where the left and right lanes actually can cross. Oh, only 300 okay, meters. Okay, the rest of it is And that confined. road is very, very wide. The, the okay. center line is very, very wide. Okay. So it's uh, highly unlikely that anybody will encroach onto your lane from the other side. So first of all, there is no oncoming traffic. So it's all one way. Okay. And then the corners are so challenging, it really brings out the best or the worst in the car. Of course, when I drive, with a, there's this element called uh, well, maybe you can say it's what I've acquired through the years. Yeah. So I can drive the car near its limit. I never drive it to the limit because when you're at the limit, if you make a mistake, you spin. La. Yeah, you, 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 things happen. Yeah. So I always <laughs> drive <laughs> slightly below the limit. I, I can feel the car. And uh, that's why I chose that road. And I must really thank Gunting Berhad for making that road because it really is a very good test road. Okay, so the challenges of going onto YouTube, how did you do it? How did I do it? There's a lot of, you see, because you have to, you have to be in front of the camera and present, yeah. that's a different skill. Mm. You have to know how to behave behind the camera and that's a different skill. Right? What do you mean behave behind the camera? Well, you, know how, you must know how to frame the shot, you must know how to uh, set up the camera, you must know how to um, use the device in the first place. It's a big learning curve. I mean, my father <laughs> definitely does not know how to operate a camera. How old 100%. is he? He's, um, he's 81. La. Oh, 81. But yeah. at 71 also, he had no idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> not at 61, so, right? And then you must know how to edit the footage, right? Mm. You must know a lot of things. And then once you have edited the footage, you must know how to get onto the platform, learn how to market the thing, <laughs> right? Hashtag this, hashtag that, descriptor, this, descriptor, that, your title, your thumbnail, all these things. So there's at least three or four different skill sets. Mm. For a 70 year old guy, that's pretty darn impressive because you're at 100,000. I was 68 then, a bit younger. You're, you're 100,000 subscribers. So not I'm like, yet, not yet, just a thousand. Ah, more. But soon, <laughs> la, soon, 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 soon. So I thought I must talk to you and ask you. Okay, uh, I had a partner. I have a partner. Okay. Uh, she's a nice young lady who used to work together with me. She's my good friend's wife. Okay. <laughs> and so I have to say she's my business partner. Yeah. I see, I see. Because I, see. I do have a wife. Hi. <laughs> 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 and uh, well, she was the one who actually came up with the idea, let's do it. Yeah. And, and I had my doubt. Then I said, can I? Sure, you can. You're already a personality and yes. you have the ability to, you have the skills and I think you are very good at presenting. So I did. Lah. And, uh, but if you watch my videos from the early ones on, uh, the quality changes a little bit. Gets better, here lah. and there, it gets better and better. Yeah. Uh, in the early days, I was a bit tongue-tied because you've got to get used to talking to nobody. Yeah, know? and you into know? the camera as well. Uh, and into the camera. Uh, of course, when you're driving, then you don't have to look so much at the camera. Lah, you know, yeah. you just drive. And driving is something I could do. And so that kind of helped out. Lah. And uh, you want to know the story why Genting? Well, uh, you told me, right? Yeah, but some another reason was okay. uh, I did one video going up to Genting. Went viral? No. Then I did another video that went up to Genting. Yeah. Then my third video, I said, Ayo, this can be very boring. At that time, I, I just used Genting because it was a nice road. Lah, uh -huh. You know? And uh, so my third one, I went to another place. And then the viewers came and asked, Hey, how come no Genting? We want Genting. Oh. And I said, Okay, lah, since you all want it. I will give it more and, and it became like a routine. It became a thing. La. Yeah, so it, it's now like my thing. La. But of course, if some, some things happen, then maybe I can't use it anymore. So I got to think of what else I'm going to do next. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, but I noticed that during the pandemic last year, you were quite creative. You were showing how to, uh, what oversteer is, understeer is in yeah. your house, in your kitchen, yeah. with <laughs> model cars. I thought, okay, this guy is, you're, you're adhering to the rule of one upload at least a week. I, I don't do that because I'm a bit, bit lazy and I'm, I'm quite busy elsewhere. Lah. 
Right but now you, we're trying to do that. one every three days. Yeah, so you're, you're, and you've been keeping it up. So fantastic, you know. Um, so what else? What else? Well, we have to be innovative. Lah. Yeah. And uh, during the first pandemic, we were really locked in. And so my dining table became my studio. Yeah. You know. And then you also did um, an unboxing of your TV. <laughs> right? 53,000 people have like, watched. Oh, not bad, ah, this uncle. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay. So see, that's, that's what I learned in radio. You know. People don't necessarily tune in for the content. They tune in for the person. Really? I yeah. don't know. My wife says the people want to see what the inside of your house looks like. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I guess that's why, right? Because there's so many unboxing videos out there. Why did they tune in to you? Oh, some of them get a million views. Mine only yeah. 53,000. Hey, 53,000 is more than I've ever had, okay? But <laughs> anyway, uh, she, my wife says that, well, a lot more people watch TV than yeah. drive. So actually driving is a very niche market. So, yeah. you know, uh, and uh, when you unbox the TV, you're actually appealing to a lot more people. Mm. And now with this pandemic, people are looking at TVs more often because that's possibly your only source of entertainment, you yeah, know. Or YouTube. Uh, uh, or YouTube. And, and TV is YouTube, no? So having a TV yeah. is something people are interested in. And this one is actually the new technology. It's actually an Android TV. You know? Oh, so it talks to your phone? Uh, no, you can uh, download a lot of Android programs. Oh. So it doesn't... I'm actually not connected to any TV network. Oh, I see. Everything, okay. everything is through the Android box. So the, the your, your phone talks the, to the the no the TV is the phone. Oh, okay. I it's an Android system. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, mm. I must try it out. So it's interesting. But then you don't script your. I I notice you don't script. So you just do you memorize it first or what, what do you do? Well, you need to have a few key facts la. Like for yeah. example, if I'm driving a car. At least I need to know what kind of horsepower it has, what kind of torque. So the basics lah. Basics like the tyre size, you know, and engine configuration. Basic things like that. Uh, I'm not good with numbers and all, you know, like you need to... Oh, this, hand, this door handle is different from that door handle. <laughs> and uh, so I... How do I say? Uh? Uh, some people have actually noticed that most of my videos are one take, especially the hill climb, because it's more authentic. People, <laughs> some people actually uh, time the run. Of course, I try not to time it, like, because if I time it, then it looks like I'm racing. So, yeah, if you want to time it yourself, you can go and check how fast <laughs> I'm going. It's 8.4 kilometers. <laughs> From end to end. So the one that you did where the, you were in a MyV, right? Ah, that think was the that one was, that went viral. There's a Sirocco behind you, right? A, a VW ah, that Sirocco? Was, that was purely accidental. Yeah. I was driving up and I saw him. Yeah. Uh, then uh, I passed him. Then he passed, he, I think he passed me again. Uh, somewhere on the highway. Ah. And then uh, he then he went, didn't look at you and said, hey, what's this? No, no, I don't think he knew who I was. <laughs> then uh, I passed him two corners up the hill, you know, because he was blocked by somebody. And then after that, I think maybe he wanted to check out how this this uncle can drive this Myvi like that. So I think perhaps he was trying to follow me to see how I can handle the car. I see, I see, uh, I see. So have you ever had any mishaps while testing cars? Once. Once, yeah. What happened? Uh, it was the BMW 5 Series with this uh, variable steering. At low speed, it turns more Oh. when you turn the steering. I see, I see. So okay. I was parking in front of my house. I turned the steering, it turned more than I meant it to turn and it hit the wall. Oh, that's left, bizarre. Left a scratch on the bumper. Okay, there's nothing lah. You yeah, don't have but like a... I, it, it was a scratch and it probably cost a couple of hundred to fix lah. I see, I see. <laughs> so I went back and told BMW, I'm so sorry. That was in the days when I was with the Edge lah. I see. <laughs> many, so... many years ago. So that's the only mishap I ever had. So what's next for YS Kong? What's next for YS Kong? Well, I... In life, you try to re leverage on the things that you know, you know best and, and what's good. Lah. So, we discovered a lot of people actually buy cars after watching our videos. 
So what we did was we went and talked to some of the car makers and said, hey, let me be your online salesman. Yeah, yeah, and that. Yeah. And usually it takes five minutes to convince them. Yeah. And so now I'm now we're selling a few brands. La. So the major ones, of course, is Toyota, Nissan, and uh, Proton, yeah. and also Subaru and Mazda. I and see. we are still talking to a couple of others, you know, and when we when we get them, we'll announce that so far, actually we have another one is Audi. So we actually have six brands. So if you want to buy a car, you can just... Interesting. There's the trust factor there, there, I guess. Because, yeah. right, because it, it, it helps us to make a little bit more money to yeah. keep us going. Yeah. We don't make a lot of money on, on YouTube, you know. Contrary to what people think. Yes, because uh, what happens is in the early days, it's it was good for a lot of people when uh, when there were so few but now uh, what YouTube does is it pays for content that they use as a medium for advertising and basically it's a monopoly la, you know yeah and so the rates for Malaysia uh, the rates are actually based on advertising rates okay. so if you 1,000 views in the US will give you US seven ringgit seven dollars US or eight dollars US you know 1,000 views here is like six ringgit okay yeah okay. so it's it's different no seven dollars us and six ringgit malaysian there's a huge difference well, it's for 25 percent it's 25 percent of what they're getting la. i think it's less than that yeah less than that la. Mm. yeah because i guess it's the quality of the audience as well right mm. and then how much they can charge mm. okay well i guess it's interesting why well, yes um i i definitely look forward to seeing more of you in the future Sure. Um, you know, I guess your access to the car world also is huge, right? Uh, that's because of my previous connections as a motoring journalist. I used yeah. to write, guys, you know, and yeah. then uh, <clears throat> with the new trend of people not reading and then uh, being visual is something. Yeah. You know? So any words of advice for people, you know, of your age, of your generation? Okay, the... I suppose, uh, I will say that never say never law. Yeah law. And never say cannot law. Just you got to ask yourself. Instead of saying I can't do it, you ask why not? Of course you can also fail. No, I could have started this channel and then it just bomb out and then you get nothing. Then you just fade away and don't do anything law. I have a couple of friends, I think you know some of them, who actually tried to start a channel. Yeah. Then after a while, it didn't work, so they just moved. Mm. And another one of them continued and just started another channel, but it's on a different subject matter, something that he is very, very familiar with. Oh, yeah? And it's getting very good traction. Who's this guy and what is it? What is it? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, not nice to mention, but he's actually, uh, these are some of my friends. Lah. Okay, interesting. Well, good luck, YS. It was yeah. a huge pleasure chatting with you. Sure. Um, and uh, So, I did you find me friendly you. and approachable? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, brother, come here. Okay, thanks. Nice talking to you.